In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to post-process your footage inside of After Effects. We'll be going over the different steps that I usually take after rendering inside of Blender. So such as color grading, adding glow, um, shakes, some motion blur, and other stuff that's going to make our renders look way better. If you're interested in how I made this particle disintegration effect, the project file is going to be up on Patreon. So you can go and check it out first link in the description down below. And I rendered it as a transparent background and now I imported it into After Effects. Um, I usually import my animations as a PNG sequence, but that doesn't really matter. So just make sure that you have your footage imported into After Effects so that we can begin on working on it. So the first step that I usually take is adding the background. I usually add a solid. So click on Ctrl and Y and you should be able to add a solid behind your object. So I added a gradient trap on the solid that's going to act as our background. You can mess with the colors, but I usually like a grayish color uh, for such renders. For glow in general, I use deep glow. Um, so duplicate the clip, add deep glow to the clip on top. And now we're going to be messing with the settings a bit. You're going to change the view into glow input. Now you can actually see the threshold. So if you crush the colors, if you move the threshold up, you should get some results like this. And now it's basically isolating the highlights. So once you have little highlights, something like this, maybe in the 90s, you could now change the glow input into final render and mess with the settings a bit. You can change the exposure. I usually turn it down a bit, turn the radius up and change the blend mode into add if you want or you could keep it on screen uh, check the smooth blending box and unmod and make sure that the source opacity is set to zero and you could also add a tint to the glow and finally change the blending mode into screen and that should be it for the glow uh, now if you turn on and off the layer you could see now you have glow on the highlights if you want the glow to affect the entire um, render, you could turn down the threshold. And as you can see, it carries on to the rest of the object. But I like to keep my glow on the highlights. So that's basically what we're going to be using for the glow. Now we can add some motion blur to the particles. Um, preferably, if you have a fast moving object in your scene, in this case, we have the particles. It's better to add some motion blur. So there is an RSMB effect. If you're an editor, you'd probably know RSMB. So RSMB, which stands for Real Smart Motion Blur, is a motion blur effect that affects the fast moving parts of your scene. So it doesn't blur out the entire thing. As you can see, if you turn it on and off, it doesn't affect the parts that are not moving. Obviously, it's going to be affecting the parts that are moving. In our case, um, is the particles so for motion blur I don't like to go with any crazy values just turn it down to like 0 0.2 and like 40 just to have some little motion blur on the particles it looks way better this way so now we're gonna finalize everything and color grade this so for color grading you gotta add an adjustment layer and add an exposure effect with exposure, I usually increase the offset a bit. Offset basically adds this fading effect on your scene. But obviously this is a huge value, so you could go with a lower value, something like 0 0.005 um, or even less. So just experiment with it until you get a value that you like. And immediately it makes our render looks better, especially those very shadowy and dark areas. It kind of blends them. and and this way they're gonna look less harsh if that makes sense and now after the exposure you could add a curves effect so basically this curve is gonna make your render more contrasty as you can see it's gonna make the shadows pop more and the highlights more uh, just make sure you don't go with any crazy values else it would look like a deep fried meme <laughs> which looks very ugly so just go with small values something like this uh, a very subtle effect where it makes a huge difference. Um, you could leave color grading here, that would be more than enough in some cases, but it depends on your scenes. I usually like to add looks, magic bully looks, which is a color grading effect by Red Giant. But with looks, you're gonna get access to a lot of effects and a lot of color grading presets um, that already come um, 
with the actual plugin itself so you can mess around and find a preset that looks good and you can later on tweak it until you get the result that you want so turn this down to something like 15 or 20 um, and now you have a subtle effect as you can see uh, now you can check the before and after um, for the color grading it's nothing very um, crazy but this subtle um, color grading is definitely gonna enhance your render by a lot especially with the glow and the motion blur and the other stuff um, and for the quality you could add sharpen a bit um, sharpen, sharpen basically sharpens up the edges which basically gives you the illusion of a better quality so if you bump, if you bump up the sharpen you're gonna get more details the thing is you should never go with a very high sharpen value else your renders are gonna look way worse so if you check this out it looks very bad <laughs> you don't want to ever go with such values so um, I'd recommend you go with like a very subtle value like 7 maybe and that should add some you know some sharpness to the render itself and finally you could add some noise I usually like to add noise or grain in general at the end but make it very subtle um, it just adds a nice texture to the animation and render as a whole um, and it looks filmic as well unlike the actual noise that you get from bad lighting um, in 3d so you could use a film convert add-on which is paid or you could use this add grain add-on that comes with after effects itself um, so yeah you could use it um, I usually turn down the softness to zero because I don't like my grain to look soft I like a sharp grain so yeah just turn down the softness to zero you could turn down the intensity a bit and that should be more than enough something like 0.4 um, and now you have some grain on your animation which gives it a nice texture and also one more thing uh, go into the color settings of the grain and turn on monochromatic that's gonna make it a black and white grain instead of other colors and that should be more than enough you should be set now as you can see um, this is the before and this is the after that's what I personally do for my renders I don't like to go with any crazy values or any crazy color corrections as that's gonna look way unprofessional I'd like to go with you know some curves some exposure maybe a little bit of looks in some cases yeah basically grain to add the grain and sharpness to increase the quality a bit and you could later on throw this in like topaz or any other ai enhancing um software to squeeze out some more quality but in my case i think that's more than enough and yeah that's basically it for the tutorial um if you enjoy drop a like and yeah that's it i'll catch you in another tutorial goodbye